So guys, welcome to our channel once again. In today's video on our work biology examination revision series, we have here these 10 work repeated questions to answer on the topic concept of living. So guys, this video will be about classification. So in short, to stay till the end of this video as this is a very important one. Let's go ahead and start with the first question here. It says, which of the following groups embraces the rest? So we have A, class B, kingdom C, species D, phylum. So guys, the group here that embraces the rest, that's the um, highest in the hierarchy here is kingdom. And that's option B here. So let's go ahead and consider the next question. And that's question number two here. It says, an animal which possesses scales, knee, and backbone is likely to be a A, Told B lizard C bat D rat. So guys, this is a description of a reptile, and that's a lizard here. So option B is the correct answer to this question here. So let's go ahead and consider the next question. Question number three here it says, which of the following organisms has homodont dentition? We have A man, B rabbit, C lizard, D sheep. So guys, the organism here with the homodont dentition here is the reptile as well, and that's the lizard. So man, habit, man, rabbit, and sheep actually have heterodont dentition, whereas the lizard has a homodont dentition. That's all the teeth are alike or the same. So that's it for this question. Let's go ahead and consider the next question. And that's question number four here. It says, organisms that interbreed to produce fertile offspring belong to the same A, family B, class C, order D, species. So guys, the answer to this question is option D here, and that species. So the species comprises of organisms that are alike and can interbreed within themselves. So they are most closely related in the hierarchy of classification. So that's option D here, species. So let's go ahead and consider the next question. And that's question number five here. It says, which of the following characteristics feature is not associated with monocotyledonous plants? A, well-differentiated sepals and petals. B, presence of narrow leaves. C, floral parts are in multiples of three d presence of fibrous root system so guys the answer to this question here is option a and that's a well differentiated sepals and petals so if you check the characteristic features of monocotyledonous plants you will realize that there is presence of narrow leaves there is floral parts in multiples of three then there is also presence of fibrous root system but guys um monocotyledonous plants do not have well differentiated sepals and petals so their flower parts are actually often indistinguishable so um, sometimes referred to as sepals so that's it for that question let's go ahead and consider the next question and that's question number 68 it says Hydra is able to perform all the following functions except A. Movement B. Feeding C. Photosynthesis D. Ejection So guys, the answer to this question is option C and that's photosynthesis. Hydra performs the rest of the functions here apart from photosynthesis and that's because of the fact that it does not possess chloroplast or chlorophyll for synthesizing food from the sunlight. So that's it for that question. And let's go ahead and consider the next question, guys. Question number seven here, it says, which of the following characteristics do fungi share in common with animals? A, movement of centrioles during cell division. B, movement from one place to another. C, storage of carbohydrates as glycogen. D, presence of digestive tracts. So guys, the answer to this question is option C, and that's storage of carbohydrates as glycogen. So actually, fungi actually store 
carbohydrates and glycogen just like animals do and that's one feature or characteristic that they share in common with animals so that's it for that question let's go ahead and consider the next question that's question number 88 says which of the following organisms exhibits both plants and animal characteristics we have a euglena b spirogyra c ameba and d muko so guys the answer to this question is option a and that's euglena euglena is the organism here that exhibits both plants and animal characteristics so that's it for that question let's go ahead and consider the next question and that's question number nine here it says euglena can be classified as an animal because of the position of a nucleus b cell wall c cytoplasm d pellicle so guys the answer to this question is option d here and that's the pellicle so the pellicle is a structure that allows the euglena to change shape and move and that's what gives it a kind of animal feature characteristic so that's it for that question let's go ahead and consider the next question guys and that's the last question for this video question number 10 it says in which of the following levels of classification are the members most similar a species b order c genius d phylum so guys the answer to this question is option a and that's species so the species of an organism are most related and most similar and can interbreed to produce offspring so that's it for this question option a is the answer so this year we'll end this video for today guys if you enjoyed this lesson please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're not a subscriber also if you have any specific question regarding this video you can drop your question on the comment section below and we'll ensure to give you a response so finally guys, we also want to encourage you to join our YouTube channel community where we post major, major updates on work examination. So guys, this will help you as you prepare for your work examination for the year. If you... So you can join this community by hitting the join button below and we'll see you right there. Thank you once again for watching this video and see you on the next one.